NCAA's Lori Weaver Hawkins says on St. Patrick's Day, it seems everyone is Irish. Many folks go out to celebrate, and for a large share of them, alcohol will be a part of that equation. So if you're planning to take part in the festivities, make sure you know how you'll get home safely. News entrepreneur Jillian Risberg has more information. On St. Patty's Day, many people believe it's okay to go out and drink because they're only getting a little buzzed and feel fine. But AAA's Laurie Weaver Hawkins says buzz driving is also drunk driving, and St. Patrick's Day sees an increase in impaired driving crashes. So don't let anyone leave your party if they've been drinking. Take their keys and help them get a safe ride home. Better to feel a little bit uncomfortable or have a friend temporarily uh, upset with you then lose that friend forever mm -hmm. or have that friend's life change forever because they've uh, had a crack caused a crash that took someone else's life or severely yeah. injured them. You are the host. Hawkins says make sure you stop serving alcohol the last hour of your party. In West Virginia, 23% of traffic fatalities involve an impaired driver. Have some festive, non-alcoholic, uh, beverages available. That way your designated drivers and other folks who don't want to have alcohol but still want to get into the party spirit can enjoy those. If you feel differently, you're going to drive differently. Hawkins says you're not going to have the same reflexes and ability to maneuver your vehicle. All these fatalities due to impaired driving are preventable. We talk a lot about numbers. But those aren't just numbers. Those are people's family members and friends whose lives were cut short because someone not always them, you know, innocent people that just happen to be in the way of the impaired driver. All of those folks that have lost their lives, even though it could have all been prevented if someone had made the right decision. Thinking you won't start to worry until it's time to go home, Hawkins says, is not using good judgment. If you're going on a pub crawl where you will be on foot. Be careful when you're a pedestrian as well. There is such a thing as walking impaired. Enjoy the luck of the Irish, but Hawkins says luck isn't going to help you and others on the roadway. Have that safe plan in place that don't involve you getting behind the wheel after you've been drinking or getting in a vehicle with someone driving who's been drinking. Multimedia journalist Jillian Risberg for Newswatch.